carelessness that I just displayed. I constantly preach on a daily basis how important it is to take care of your gear. No matter how inexpensive, if it was given to you for free, there's always a use for it. And the fact that I just displayed such stupidity about not even paying attention to a damn power line that was just literally right in front of me. And my, well, I'll be perfectly honest, when I'm flying, one of my biggest issues is, of course, power lines because it's literally like an optical illusion. You can't really judge them when you're flying by them at an angle, but it is important to just, when you're, when you're approaching them, to completely clear them by several hundred feet before you make an ascent. It was early, I wasn't completely paying attention, it was in a town that I normally don't fly in, but it's just, it's completely my fault. I'm not going to place blame on anything else other than just I was stupid, I wasn't paying attention, and the next thing you know, I just heard the hit, and then it fell, and then it sank. I'm still trying to understand how I could let something like that happen, but this isn't the first time I've lost gear or had gear stolen. Back in week nine, uh, I had my camera stolen, and I completely lost that entire week with the exception of the drone footage that I shot over the city of Boston. Now it's the completely the other way around, and I just lost the entire drone altogether together with the exception of the remote, of course, it's in my hands. Um, if I was really upset, I would have, once I lost the drone, I would have taken the remote and thrown it in the water as well. I figured, hell, if I'm going to lose it, I might as well just lose all of it. Uh, it's not something I can really comprehend right now, other than just going out and getting another one, but it's absolutely stupid of me to have not taken all the entire environment into account, because when you're flying something like this, flying one of these things is not a toy. All right, and it is also dangerous. If you are just stupid for one second, not paying attention to where you're going or what you're doing, chances are you can hit a building, you can hit power lines, which I did, you can hit animals, you can hit people, you can crash the drone, you can lose hundreds of dollars, and you can also be liable for anything you damage. And uh, yeah, was I lucky enough to have, for it to have landed in water and nobody has seen it? Yes. But did I just lose hundreds of dollars in equipment? Yes. So why is it worth spending anywhere between three and five hundred dollars for a drone? They come with a high resolution camera, anywhere between 1080p and 4K, with a high refresh rate, so when you slow it down or you speed it up, you don't lose the film quality during the process. Whenever I make sudden movements with the drone, or I come to a complete stop, or if it's windy out, it doesn't look like that on the camera. It looks like it's, everything is stable, gives you a really nice view, without that almost Top Gun type feel to it. Everything is nice and steady, and that's the, the huge difference. So once you add on that camera, so essentially, the drone itself is maybe worth like $100, $200, okay? Then once you tack on the GPS uh, navigation system, you're essentially not, and not, you now have a drone that is no longer a toy because it's attached not just to one satellite, it's attached to anywhere from 10 to 15 different satellites. So its positioning stays within a few feet of itself. So the drone doesn't wander off whenever it hits wind, uh, whenever it hits uh, the water. It basically will stay in one spot so while you're making adjustments or whatever you're doing, the drone is staying exactly where it is and it's one less thing for you have, it's one less thing that you have to worry about while you're doing other operations or while you're making adjustments with the camera or while you're taking photos. Drones that are between $50 and $100 generally only have about 
five to ten minutes of flight time. With the Phantom 3 series, you get about 20 minutes of solid flying time, okay? That's on one battery. I was able to do the entire New England seacoast with just two battery packs. What you can do with 20 minutes of flight time is actually a, it's quite a lot because at the end of the day you really just use drone footage unless you're doing short commercial stuff when you're actually doing like a vlog it's mostly just transition you're transitioning into the next topic you're transitioning to a different location that's what the drones are for you can tell somewhat of a story with the drone but at the end of the day and when you're doing a vlog it's mostly for transitional purposes now without the camera the drone itself no matter if it has GPS positioning has follow me mode or anything like that without the camera Camera, the drone is a toy. Once you add the camera, the drone is a tool. I implore anybody who's thinking about flying a drone, who's thinking about buying a camera, do your research. Really do it because you can easily spend a hundred dollars and absolutely get nothing for your effort. It's not fun knowing that I lost gear in the water. It isn't. I really don't. I don't like it. It drives me nuts. I played it off as best as I could when I was filming on uh, when I was filming, but it, it does suck an awful lot. It really does. It plays with my head because it takes away from my time of being creative. Okay, I really do. Whenever I get a, a moment, I'm, I'm, I'm flying or I'm filming something or I'm editing something. It's just, it, it, it bothers me uh, on, on, a, on a personal level that I could be so stupid to not even see that uh, going. Not surveying the property before I send it up and just, just something so dumb like that. Um, it sets a poor example for people who want to buy drones for um, policy making when it comes to the dangers of having drones up in the air because a lot of bad things happen because you are invading once you send a drone up you are invading airspace a helicopter could be flying over a small engine plane could be flying over planes could be large commercial planes could be landing at a nearby airport and the fact that I did this it's stupid alright and uh, me preaching all the time about being responsible with your gear, especially gear with props spinning so fast as this drone, and for the fact that I just crashed over open water um, in the state's capital is just dumb. I, I'm disappointed in myself for this happening, okay? I, I just, it drives me nuts, okay? Because I didn't do anything, I wasn't flying it down a street loaded with people. I wasn't hovering over somebody's house spying on them. I was literally just going to get a panning shot of the state capitol and I just didn't see it. And it pisses me off that it happened. It pisses me off that that thing is sitting there hundreds of dollars in value and I just sent it into the water like it's a damn kamikaze. It's absolutely stupid of me. I want to create like a little story within a little story within a little story with my channel and by losing gear like this um, I just, I, I take away from my credentials as being a responsible person. And um, I try to be very, and I could have just said nothing about it. I could have just left it alone. I could have just been like, nothing happened, I got a new drone and I retired the old one. No, I need to be more transparent than that. I need to let people know that I was stupid and this happened. And I was stupid for literally just a matter of seconds. I was literally stupid for it. The moment it took off, the moment I was over the water, and then ascending too quickly, not paying attention to what was in front of me. It's important to let people know that if you do something stupid for literally just a matter of seconds, this is what can happen. Imagine if I was flying over a crowd of people and I hit a power line, what would happen? It could have landed on a kid's head, it could have landed on a dog. Uh, it, it's dumb. It could have landed in traffic, somebody could have swerved, and it could have hit somebody. This is the butterfly effect of me being stupid for a matter of 10 seconds and not focusing on what's going on. And I need to let you guys know know, and gals, sorry, uh, that uh, this happened, and I need to be more responsible, okay? If I got a DWI, I would need to let you know, because it's important. It's part of my story. Uh, this vlog channel uh, started out with a lot of turbulent uh, news in my own personal life, and I knew it would reflect in the vlog, so I had to uh, let everybody know what was happening. Not to get sympathy, but just to inform you of things good or bad that were happening in my life so that while you're starting a business these are some of the distractions you can encounter uh, and how you can possibly guide yourself through them whether it's the death in the family or you lose your job or uh, you lose gear like this happened and, and how you can kind of move forward with it and how you can kind of move the ball forward and learn from the mistakes of doing something like this so that you can when you do get new gear because I'm always looking forward to getting new gear and taking better care of it um, that you can maybe take away from the mistakes that I made and use them to better your situation, okay? If you're gonna, if you're gonna buy gear like this, you need to be responsible from the moment you send it up in the air to the moment you land it. You don't want to lose it in a tree in somebody's yard and have to go knock on their door like you're some type of 
a registered sex offender. You have to be responsible with this stuff, and I'm just going to keep repeating myself until you actually get the point of what I'm trying to make. And the fact is I was dumb, and it happened, and I don't want it to happen again. I need to be more responsible because if, if things like this happen, if somebody finds it, okay, if somebody finds it like an official or something like that, they find this gear just in the street or somebody sees it, it really could push legislation against what we're trying to do. We're trying to be creative individuals uh, and create our own businesses. And by us flying around like morons and crashing into things, it doesn't better our situation. So we need to be responsible people. Uh, and I'm not tying this in with uh, other things that have happened in the news. It, I'm strictly talking about this is my gear and I need to be responsible for it. And I wasn't responsible for it for literally a matter of seconds and then that happened. Okay, if I had flown it into a transformer instead of just a power wire and the transformer exploded, I don't, I don't know. I don't know these things. I don't want to assume that everything's going to be okay. I need to be smarter with the fact that uh, this happened. And um, it hurts me to know that I have to uh, delay other creative projects simply because of my stupidity in a brief moment. And I need to now do my research to see what I'm going to make the replacement with. But the moments that I've captured with this drone, uh, it's like losing a little friend. Figured I'd get that off my chest because that's the only thing that's on my mind right now. Everything else is taking a backseat. I was going to talk about other creative projects and things that are going on right now, but it doesn't matter. This was, this was something I had to let everybody know about, and uh, I will get new stuff, but right now I just want to think about this and how I can prevent this from going forward. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much that's it.